been developing new materials for aerospace interiors. We can try many formulations that would be extraordinarily expensive to otherwise develop. And so that's an example of being able to respond quickly. Composite materials, they're really cool. Essentially, you can think of them as taking two or more materials, bringing them into one structure. One material by itself will have good properties in, say, strength. Another one over here might have good thermal properties. Well, when we bring them together, we get the best of both worlds. My name is Mark Perrin. I'm an assistant professor of plastics and composites engineering at Western Washington University. The research that we've been conducting in conjunction with Jakati and Zodiac Aerospace has been centered around developing new aerospace resins for interior applications. So what we have here is a resin transfer mold. This is what I spent the summer developing for the Zodiac project. They want to use RTM resin transfer molding as a means to replace some of their current composite manufacturing processes. By conducting research at Western, they can investigate new resins, new materials, new reinforcements. The work that we do is very multidisciplinary. We're starting from a fundamental molecular level work with uh, part of our team that has more of a chemistry background and then we have people working all the way through the application end. This is called the Discovery Hybrid Rheometer and we were, we were able to purchase this through the Jakati grant that was given to us this year. It's cool because I get to look at the new resins that we're trying to make big and make it into the aerospace industry such as benzoxazine resins. So they are synthesized here by people that are part of this team, and then they get sent to me. I actually get to do characterization techniques and look into exact material properties. So I'll be able to figure out the, the exact viscosity, the exact gel temperature, glass transition temperature. All those stages require very careful attention to detail and measurement of materials. Everything from the flow properties of materials and how readily they cure, which has economic, direct economic and technical implications, all the way through to the final product properties that have to meet standards for mechanical properties and safety, including flame, smoke, and toxicity. Well, I've been working on developing new materials for aerospace interiors and an important part of developing these materials is making sure that they're flame retardant and so here we're going to be testing the flammability of these materials I've been developing. What Zodiac Aerospace is really interested in is a material that isn't going to catch on fire but is also easily manufactured and so this is the commercially available resin and it's not very flammable which is good but it's really hard to manufacture into parts. This is a sample that we made that's really easy to manufacture into parts, but it obviously burns a lot. So our goal has been to kind of optimize both of those things, and we've done that with samples like this, which are still really easy to manufacture, but they burn less than the commercially available material. My name is Nikki Larson. I'm a professor at Western Washington University, and my research is around composites materials. What we have done here is made prepreg, which is taking regular fiber and impregnating it with resin. And aerospace companies use that to make interior components and exterior components of the aircraft. This instrument is a non-contact ultrasound purchased through a grant from Jakati in conjunction with Zodiac Aerospace. We are able to take samples of the prepreg that we have manufactured here at Western, as well as commercially available prepreg that was manufactured from our partner Zodiac Aerospace, and see the resin distribution and content and compare those two things. It's an instant test and it's, um, it's reliable. It's just a great test. So here you can see this is not a well saturated sample and the resin distribution is off quite a bit. I'm going to be graduating in June. My plans are to enter the aerospace industry in Washington State for the Boeing Company. I'll be starting in the Advanced Manufacturing and Materials Development Group. I think it would be really cool to see the benzoxazine resin that we've been working with actually manufactured with prepreg and actually making parts with the benzoxazine resin. Jakati is an example of those positive attributes that I think allow the Washington State aerospace industry to stay competitive with its worldwide partners and worldwide competitors.